Hey everyone, Alicia here, founder of Pixie Stock and creator of the Intentional Brand Program. Today I want to do a quick, just fun tutorial on how to edit one of the free stock photos that you received this month, um, which is this blue background with a white podcast mic. Um, if you have don't receive free stock photos, you're definitely going to want to sign up for that. Um, but we're going to take this photo and um, right now if you take a look at it this is not um, anything remotely close to pixie stock branding so i'm going to show you guys how you can tweak a photo to kind of make it match your brand and the things that you can do with photos because they are so versatile so i'm just going to go ahead and download this to my computer and the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and open it up in the Lightroom app. So I'm going to use the desktop app for this tutorial, but you can also use the mobile app. The mobile app is free um, and it has all of the adjustments that you would see in the desktop app if you are going to um, edit pictures. It doesn't have, you know, the slideshow and all, and all of these additional um, features, but what you need for tweaking and changing photos to match your brand, you can definitely do that in the Lightroom mobile app. You can do a whole lot more in Photoshop today because I love Lightroom um, because it's so easy to use. We're going to edit in this program. So as you can see, this is the photo here that you all received and it is this kind of a royal cobalt blue color. So I'm gonna change this so that it fits for pixie stock now i don't have a podcast by any means but we're also going to see how you can use some of the elements in the photos even though they maybe don't quite uh go with or work with your your brand or what you what your business business actually is you can still use the photo in creative ways to um to work for your needs so the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of get rid of this blue color because blue is not one of my brand colors, but you know, black is, white is, gray is. And so we're just going to change this to somewhat of a gray color. Now, if blue is your color or purple or green, what you can do is just go to the hue slider, the HSL section and move the hue back and forth. You'll see the colors change. So you can get really creative here with, um, the colors. So I am going to just leave the hue at the level that it is, but I'm going to desaturate the photo quite a bit to make it more of a gray. And then the luminance, we're just going to lighten up this quite a bit. So now we have more of a gray background than a blue background. But sometimes when you uh, change the hue, the the photo gets a little bit grainy and a little bit noisy so you can see that here so if you just go scroll down to the details section and again all of this is on the Lightroom mobile app you'll see the noise reduction slider so you just want to slide that up a little bit and you can see that the image just becomes a little bit softer and the grain is reduced so I'm just gonna slide these up and as you can see the photo is just a lot um, cleaner. Now, finally, even though we moved the slider for blue, you want to make sure that you look to the left and look to the right of the color that you are editing because sometimes even though the picture doesn't look blue at face value, there may be some pers uh, purple hues in the image. So as you can see, if, as I slide this, the photo is still changing just a little bit and that means that there are purple hues in the image so let's go back desaturate it to where i want it and then go into the purples and desaturate those a little bit too okay and so this is the image that i'm going to use for my brand this kind of a gray light gray color is definitely one of the pixie stock brand colors and this will work for uh, what i'm trying to do so the before picture as you can see bright blue and then after is going to be gray 
So now all I'm going to do is go to File, Export. And it's fairly easy to export when you're on the mobile app. I'm going to choose the folder. It's going to go in. We're just going to do the downloads. And we're going to just make this photo one. So we're going to export. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up in Canva. But what we're going to do first is we're going to use a Pixie Stock Canva template. So we're going to go to Graphics, Canva Templates. This is in the Pixie Stock Photo and Graphics Library. And I'm going to make this for social media, so Instagram or Facebook. And instead of searching for through all of these templates, I'm going to go to Instagram because that's going to give me the square posts and find a template that I like. And I think I'm going to use a simple uh, quote graphic here. All right, so this is the template pack and we're gonna use this one here. They all are gonna be in the same Canva file, so we're gonna click on edit these templates in Canva. So we're gonna let that load. And in the Canva template file, you're gonna see the instructions on how to copy it into your account. And then you will see the graphic that you're looking for. So the first thing we're going to go to, we're going to do is go to file, make a copy, and it's going to copy this file into our own Canva account. We're going to close the original file. All right. So now it's time to edit um, the Canva template that we just downloaded. And this is it here. It's just a simple quote graphic and that's all that I want to use for my Instagram post. So the first thing I'm going to do is upload the image into Canva that I just edited. So we're going to go to upload an image or video. Photo one, open. All right, so here is the file. The first thing I'm going to do, because this is going to be a background for the quote, I'm going to go to the shape and um, element section and pick out a grid that will be the background. So we're going to just, just going to select the square here. We're going to position it to the back. And then we're going to add our photo. All right, just move it to where it sits right there in the middle. Now I could just leave this as is or I can continue to edit it a little bit more and so I'm going to edit it further just to kind of give it some style and some flair. We're going to do another grid over top. We're going to do a color overlay. So we're going to send it quite a bit back. We're going to go to the color section and I'm going to click on one of my pinks. Then I'm going to change the transparency of this. Something maybe like here. These quotes symbols are great, but I actually only need one. So we're going to delete one. We're going to bring this top one into the center and scale it down to about here. And I want the transparency back up. And now I'm going to change the text. Stand up. step out and speak speak your truth period 
and instead of leak spartan i'm going to change this to one of my branded fonts which is gilroy and change the letter spacing Just bring it down a little bit raise that up center that I actually want to make this white. One of the things I definitely recommend for you to do is to go ahead and add your own branding to Pixie Stock Photos. And so usually that would just mean adding your website name or your business name. I don't know why I'm editing this and <laughs> it's so small. Uh, let's change the letter spacing. I love um, 50, that tends to be a good one. And let's raise the font size just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I can, I can further play around with this if I want. Um, changing more of the colors, you know, adding additional graphic elements to the graphic. The more you play around with it, the more you'll be able to see what you like and what you don't like, what works and what doesn't work for your brand. So definitely have fun with it. Definitely play around with it and see what you come up with. I love Canva because it's so easy to create graphics. Um, you don't have to do so much work. It's just drag and drop. So that's why we have a lot of Canva templates um, in the library for you to edit and use for your brand. So you can, can continue to play around with it and see what works for you. Sometimes when I think I'm done, I'm not done, but you get the gist here of how to edit this to pretty much make it your own. So remember that podcast mic pick was a blue color and my brand colors are not blue. So changing it was pretty simple. Um, pretty easy in the Lightroom desktop app. Again, you can also do it in the mobile app and then just bring your design into Canva and further edit it there. All right, so this would be the final graphic and I don't have a podcast. My brand colors weren't blue. And so, but this graphic now that I'm finished will probably be about, um, brand authenticity and being transparent and telling your story uh, because that's what my brand is about, um, helping other uh, female entrepreneurs build their uh, brands and their businesses through beautiful content. So even though I don't have a podcast, I can still use this graphic because we're, it's, a, it's a visual representation of speaking and talking and saying things. Um, so it, you don't always have to uh, create the posts specifically based on what you see. Just try to be uh, creative and think outside the box of how you can use some of the photos that you may not 
um, otherwise have used because, you know, maybe you don't have a podcast. So this is what I would do with this photo. And I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you enjoyed this. So I'm probably going to post this at some point on my Instagram feed and share this tutorial um, with the rest of my audience. And I hope you like this. Go ahead and share. And definitely, if you're not signed up for free photos, um, look in the comments or the, the description or somewhere around this video. I'll have a link to where you can get free styled stock images and pixie stock graphics every single month from me.